Uh, at MIT, uh, in I think probably around 2004, um, as part of this emerging field of synthetic biology, uh, there was a group there uh, that included uh, Tom Knight and Randy Retberg and, and, and Drew Endy, uh, where they decided that uh, to have a little class um, uh, at MIT that was um, about actually trying to, um, instead of using electronic parts, using molecular parts from living systems and, and, and asking the students uh, whether they could use these and, and as components to build biological systems, living cellular systems that could carry out new interesting functions. So it started out as this very small uh, class with maybe about 15 people. But then uh, in the coming years they decided to uh, uh, invite um, a few different uh, schools, different universities to participate in this and, and maybe four or five would get together uh, in the summer within this jamboree and they would talk about the work that they did and, the, and people would, would vote on it and, and you'd get prizes. Um, and this actually grew and grew um, uh, and now uh, today uh, iGEM I think has uh, probably about 200 schools participating in it. Uh, and, and now there actually are regional competitions in each of the continents and then one big jamboree uh, at MIT in uh, November. So um, where we come in is that uh, here at UCSF we don't have undergraduates and most of this was designed to be a competition for undergraduate students. And so I spent a little time thinking about what would be a good solution. How could we actually um, uh, put together a team that would uh, be able to actually compete with uh, the, the college students. Um, and so one idea that occurred to me was, could we find a pool of really talented uh, uh, high school students, sort of later seniors and, and so forth. And I gave um, uh, George a call and left a message. Uh, and, uh, and I think you know, he can tell you what happened uh, after that. Yeah. He proposed a collaboration between my students and UCSF. And uh, having done research for 15 years prior to teaching, I quickly recognized that what they were asking for was a graduate level uh, type of work. But we've never been afraid to take a risk. And if Wendell and his laboratory was willing to take a risk on a bunch of high school students doing research in his lab, we were very happy to go for it. So one of the things I was worried about too was that, that uh, the students would be kind of a burden to the people in my lab and, and other, other graduate students and postdocs at UCSF um, that, that they'd really have to hold their hands the whole time. But um, the, I think what's really interesting is that uh, these, the, the team of students are, are so well prepared already from George's class, from two years of, working in the, of taking the biotechnology courses, um, that there really isn't that much hand-holding, as well as the fact that because they're working as a team together, um, they can consult with one another uh, and they can learn from one another and that's another really unique thing compared to say just a normal sort of internship where you have one student working uh, you know thrown in a lab and they oftentimes I know I've gone through this when I you know began working like you don't know what you're doing you're afraid to ask um, but you're much more willing to ask your, your peers the other students on the agent team. Uh, Wendell and his laboratory found uh, that our students uh what they might have lacked in experience, they uh, ha gained in imagination. They were willing to propose research ideas that might not have occurred to us. Uh, we might have thought that they were a little naive or, or too difficult to reach, but uh, in that first year, one of our students threw out the idea of creating a synthetic organelle. And at first, we looked at each other like, oh, that's, t that's something people have wanted to do for years. And, and then we said, well, wait a minute. Let's look into uh, whether this can be done. And uh, two and a half months later, we uh, made significant progress in that project. And we all flew to MIT, very hopeful, and were delighted to find that we actually placed in the top six finalists of the competition, which created a huge stir uh, over there at the iGEM competition. After our presentation, we were flooded with uh, the undergrads from all over the world coming to our poster, uh, incredulous, actually, that a, a bunch of high school students could perform at such a high level. Um, it should be said here that they don't hold their hands too much at, uh, at UC. In Wendell's lab, they insist that the kids come up with the ideas themselves, read primary citations, and do the uh, background research to come up with their own idea. 
It's helped actually engender enthusiasm for more biotechnology at Lincoln. Everybody wants to get on the iGEM team. Everybody wants to get into the biotech class. We have them filled to the maximum five classes a day. There's also been a growth in the number of biotechnology programs throughout the, uh, the uh, San Francisco Unified School District. Many uh, other high schools now have started programs like this, um, in part inspired by, by what the Lincoln team showed that they could do. Uh, and, and you know, one thing that I always find is really interesting is, is uh, what's, what's really nice about the field of biotechnology and of synthetic biology where you're really asking not kind of some obscure academic question about how some biological system works, but you're really trying to think about um, what problem could we solve? How could we solve a problem in medicine or a problem in uh, bioenergy uh, that, that the students, even at this very young age, are able to really understand the motivation, uh, and therefore they, 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 they invest a lot more. They're not just handed a protocol or a script and here, you know, be a little robot, do these experiments, pipette this into this. They're really thinking about what, um, what the reason is for doing this, and therefore they're much more motivated. Virtually all of the six teams worth of students are now either in graduate school in science or working for industry. Several of them stay locally to go to a local college so they can continue working in Wendell's laboratory over the course of the year. So the amount of experience they're getting by the time they get their undergraduate degree is uh, far, far beyond what, what most undergraduates can get. I'd also say we had an impact nationally in that we get calls from all over the country now from other uh, schools that are interested in this type of collaboration, and so much so that iGEM has actually started a high school division now, That's where right. there's a high school competition for just high school students. But of course, we prefer to continue competing with the undergrads. Right. I think we can learn a lot in um, in our, our practice of, of high level research at universities. It's been extraordinarily enriching for me. Uh, and for the people in my lab and inspire them to think about different types of problems, to think in different ways. Uh, and so I think really working, we've worked together and, and built a, a, an ecosystem that really um, uh, is, it has a lot of momentum and uh, is, is, is a model for, for a lot of what, what we'll see in the future. I decided to join because I thought it was a really cool opportunity to get experience in the field of biotechnology in general. My biotech teacher um, told me about it and I just really wanted to try out research. One of the reasons why I liked iGEM was because it's actually a research experience and you're working with other students around your age. Well, when I first heard about the iGEM team, um, I heard it was about synthetic biology. And since freshman year of high school, I've always loved biology, so I decided why not do something in biology this summer? Uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to um, get into the field, like to have experience and stuff. And I thought it would be fun to, you know, just be in a lab. Um, so I wanted to do iGEM again for this summer because I thought it would be nice to, I guess, help out because I think it was a really good experience the first time and I wanted to help for new students. My expectations, I mean, I don't expect everything to go perfectly well because things always go wrong, but I think we'll work together well enough where it'll run smoothly. I don't really have any expectations. I'm just going to see how it goes and I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it either way. I'm actually just excited about working with everybody else because I've known them for a while and it's going to be fun just working with them in the lab and figuring out what to do for our project and how it's going to work. This summer I just really hope to learn about what kind of work it takes to kind of do the research, to kind of create um, our, our own project versus um, only having skills like taught you and not the knowledge part of it. I'm excited to get results. I want to see what result we get and what we have to present to other people. I honestly expect a lot of mistakes, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and enjoyable. And it's going to be serious because we're like with 
all these graduate students and postdocs and everything. So it'll be fun though. Yeah. I guess I'm really looking forward to competing against all the other iGEM teams, get some hookups in the biotech field. I don't know, I'm really excited. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous, like, because everyone, everyone we're, we're competing against a lot of college students for the competition. I think we know we're going to get gold. <laughs> <laughs> when something actually worked, like when BioABE made green, that, that made my day. Probably the first time we got a PCR to work. Everyone just like, we just like ran towards each other like, yes! <laughs> I think it was working with my lab group. It's like getting to know different people from different schools and people that are also in the same skill level as me. I like being together with all the teammates. I think they are so, they're so kind and lovely. What I enjoyed most about iGEM was learning about everything, really. Um, well, I learned that most of science is failure, which makes like the things that actually work out even cooler, and it makes you appreciate the things that have worked out in science so far a lot more. I learned working in a group with difficult but it's also a great experience to have. I feel like I've learned a lot of things that I can use later on in life. It's taught me kind of how working in a lab is. It's taught me how how to work with a team that has like a lot of different aspects that like how to communicate. Communication is so important. Uh, I learned to do things step by step and do not worry so much. Oh, we learned all sorts of new fancy things. Like we just learned how to use the TCAN machine and uh, we're using the Lambda Red system and all that fancy stuff. <laughs> Having to deal with failures in the lab. The things that require you to put your tube in a machine and trust how it works because it's hard to figure out what actually went wrong when it doesn't work. Yeah, so troubleshooting is really annoying. All the knowledge to try to get all the things that you never learned from scratch to what we have our project being now. So that was very difficult. There's always a challenging part every summer in iGEM. I mean, being that this is my second year, but um, we always have a wall that we hit and it's just, I mean, it just seems like everything works fine and it's just, you can't really push past it, but you know, you just have to be persistent and, you know, I do believe we're going to get past it because <laughs> we always do. Yeah, definitely. It'll look awesome on your resume. <laughs> I, yeah, I was barely outside, but that didn't matter because I had so much fun. I didn't think it was going to be as fun as it was, but it was really exciting and a once in a lifetime experience. If you want to continue in science field, you need to at least taste what's lab work and what are the great parts of it and what's the bad parts of it. So I think it's a good experience. I think it's, I think it's worth doing the second year, honestly. It's kind of fun being the older one, I guess. I definitely would. The experience is really, really worth it, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And you learn a lot. So, I mean, to be honest, when I went, when I came out of iGEM, we had this section on biotechnology in my bio course. I didn't even have to read the book in an ace quiz, and it was great. <laughs> yeah, of course, because it's a really great experience. You learn science, you do science, you meet new people and interesting people. It's a, just a really fun time altogether.